In this video, I want to cover with you one of the big differences in the new version of WordPress versus the older version, and that is the default theme. With the newer version, you have what is called the 2010 theme. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. And you can see it's a major difference between the older Kubrick theme with the blue gradient looking header on it. Now there's a lot of customization that you can tackle with this new theme that you could not do with the prior versions and you can also carry some of this customizations into other themes. Let me explain. If we head on back here to the dashboard and under appearances you can see as I pointed out in a prior video that there are some additions here that were not in the prior versions mainly menus and background. Now this background is something that's not available in all themes but I'll show you here in a minute how you can make this work with most additional themes that do not have that built in but you'll find more and more as days go on that themes are getting upgraded to some of these customizations that are available with the new version of WordPress so you'll see this more and more but if you don't want to wait until your particular theme has that option well, I'll show you how you can tackle that and force it into allowing you to customize the background now if we go to the header section one of the cool things here is that you can change the image if we were to upload your own image let me head on over here to Here's one that's really big. But you can crop it online to the size that's required. As you can see right here, this is the image here, and it's way oversized, but you can crop it to whatever size you want, and WordPress will stretch it or bring it into that size of 9, whatever it was. I think it's 948 by 198, but we'll get to that here in just a sec. So if we just go up here and make it as big as possible, you can see that it's not going to go any further than what is the maximum. So you just figure out where on that image you want to be your header, crop and publish, and you'll see this is the condensed version. It'll spread it out here in a second. Yeah, 940 by 198 is the pixel. So if you've got your own custom header images from, say, a mini site setup, well, you can just add this. You can upload the header image, make sure that it's this size or crop it accordingly, and you've got your custom theme. And you also have some additional default images right here, and you've got some additional customization abilities right here where you can remove and reset the images. Now we're going to go ahead and save the changes here, and if we come back here and refresh you'll see a nice ocean scene. Pretty cool, huh? Now, let's head on back over here and we'll go to the background. And likewise, you can upload a background image and with that you can tile it. Here, let's go ahead and let me show you. We'll just upload the same image just for simplicity's sake. Just so I can show you some of the extras you can do with this. Whereas right now, it's left positioned and you can have tiled like this, you can have no repeat, you can tile horizontally, you can tile vertically, or no repeat whatsoever. And if we take a look at this, where it's left and scrolled, it means it will move with the, you can barely see the outsides here, but if we scroll down, you can see how it moves along with the page. Now if we come back here and click on fix, this is one of the cool features. So you can see that where we had fixed the background, you can see where it's not moving now as you scroll down. You may have certain situations where that's something that is required or something that will make your site pop even more. So that's a cool little addition that was not available in prior versions. So you can see you got a lot of flexibility and functionality here with just the background. And you can also not have to worry about the image, just go with a basic color by selecting a color from the color picker here or the color wheel and save changes. I'm back here, refresh. I guess I didn't save the change, did it? Oh, we've got to remove the background image, that's why. Now then, I'm going to save changes. Refresh, and you can see the solid color background.
And of course, you can do all kinds of stuff with that. You can create your own gradient images and then upload those. So again, you've got a lot of playroom here with the background and with the header images. Now, as far as other themes that do not support this, here's how we can force them into it. Now, I've already uploaded some additional themes here, and that's another thing too. You've got this tab here, whereas before you were able to add themes in a different fashion well you've got this right here the look is basically the same where you've got all the same features you just got a different spot to go to get them I've already uploaded some and installed them and this is one that does not have the background so let's go ahead and activate this and you can see here that the background option is not available here so what we want to do now is we want to go to the editor and under the theme functions the function.php again you can do this all right from within your WordPress blog just open this up and there's a code you want to add and you can add it pretty much anywhere but I'm just going to add it right here and again the look might be different depending upon the actual theme that you're using but just pretty much anywhere along the top here but it has to be below this code I'm going to just paste in this code right here and it's basically just saying to enable custom background this is the actual code right here this is kind of just commented out this just lets me know what it is just like this is commented out just tells you to add support for the thumbnails. Well, this is the code that you need to install on the theme functions, functions.php. And once you do that, you come on down here, click on update file, and you can see right here, background is now available. And if we delete that, come back down here, update file. You can see the background is not available and again that's the same thing that was available before with the default theme let's go ahead and check it out where you can upload the background image and of course you got the same functions then once you've got that image installed as well as just changing the color so that's how you can force your theme if it's not allowing the background image to to be customized this is how you can force your theme to do so and some of the things you can consider in working with the background images of the default theme the 2010 theme and that's going to bring us to the end of this video on customizing your theme thank you very much for watching and you have a great day